a founder of street works and as well as an advocate of uh, education for HIV and AIDS. And of course, uh, Ms. Crowder, let's uh, pick up where we left off the last time, uh, trying to make a distinction between younger people who were impacted by this disease and per perhaps older individuals who are impacted by this disease. Okay, Dr. Haney, this is what's going on. Let me make it as crystal clear. What happens is, with the advent of new medications such as uh, Viagra, Cialis, or in, in these other mm -hmm. uh, new medications, what is happening is, what, what, what we are seeing now is, is older men mm -hmm. are seeking out, with this medication, mm -hmm. younger women. Let me give you a good scenario. For example, you know, in, in uh, uh, what, what do they call it, uh, uh, old uh, high rises. Okay, uh -huh. you, you, oh, For example, uh -huh. you got Mr. Bob who lives in the high rise. Okay. Mm -hmm. For uh, for, for the senior for, citizens. Yes, senior, senior citizen house. Senior housing. There senior you citizen go. Yeah. Housing, all those high. Okay. Yeah. Now, okay. Now, Mr. Bob got Miss Lucy for a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Now, around the first of the month, when Mr. Bob get that check, Mr. Bob get him some Viagra or some Cialis mm -hmm. or whatever. Okay. Then he goes out of the high rise. Now, we're talking the first few days of the month, mm -hmm. right? Then he meets up with Shamika, Tamika, mm -hmm. or the, the younger woman. Okay. Uh -huh. On, On the, the streets. streets. Yeah, uh -huh. you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, because he got this extra staying power because of this medication, mm -hmm. he feel he got this... You, you know what I'm saying? I understand. Mm -hmm. Then, from the fifth of the month to the end of the month, okay. he goes back to the high rise, okay. and then it's business as usual with Miss Lucy. All right. Okay. You understand I what I'm see. saying? I see. Now, exactly that's exactly. how that, the, the, mm -hmm. and again, that's what we're seeing. You're seeing we're that? Seeing, uh -huh. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. we're seeing that. HIV is now in a, a whole new population mm -hmm. of people, mm -hmm. and it, and this is just my opinion. There's mm -hmm. there's been no research around mm -hmm. this, so we I couldn't uh, defend it. But you say. you see it every day, and you're oh, working absolutely. with it in, in that kind yeah. of situation. This I is think that, let, me, let me say anecdotal uh -huh, information uh -huh. that I'm I'm giving here. I wouldn't want to. Mm -hmm. uh, go on on the record as, as, as saying this mm -hmm. is definitive information. Mm -hmm. This is just my. Just what you see and, yes, and after yes. having worked with it for the last yeah. 20, 25 yes, years, absolutely. Been intimately involved yeah. with it, you can make some kind of judgments and rough Absolutely. Too. Yeah, go on. Yeah, I understand. But uh, uh, again, it's the stigma. It, a, now, while HIV has become a manageable disease, there's still that stigma. Mm -hmm. And that shame that was associated when HIV was first mm -hmm. introduced, mm -hmm. homo homosexual, drug addicts, mm -hmm. and these kind of things. So th this kind of, uh, of, of behavior associated with mm -hmm. the disease and the stigma and the shame and the guilt associated around mm -hmm. being HIV infected is preventing people from going to take mm -hmm. the HIV test. Mm. But we must realize that not taking the test does not change the All right. fact mm -hmm. if a person is HIV infected. It doesn't infected. change the status. Uh, right. That, uh, it doesn't change uh, the status uh, uh, at all. And my, and my suggestion is everybody mm -hmm. has an HIV status. Mm -hmm. The question is, do you know yours? Mm -hmm. And you should know yours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because again, mm -hmm. early detection and early treatment mm -hmm. is the key mm -hmm. to a successful, manageable mm -hmm. disease. Mm -hmm. Not successful, let me say, manageable mm -hmm. disease. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the mm -hmm. bottom line. Mm -hmm. You know, one, one of the things that uh, we, we've seen, and I think you see it quite often, is uh, dealing with body piercing. And uh, uh, why don't you say something about that? Okay, because I, I think a large number of young people 
have become involved in this without even understanding or knowing the impact that well, this had. Well, when I said one of the modes of transmission was blood to blood, and that most occurs by sharing needles. And sharing needles, we, we need to say any type of needles. Mm -hmm. Now, with the advent of tattoos, body piercing, and all of that, long, you, you, you have to understand that long as those needles are not is not being shared by someone with HIV, then it's okay. But mm -hmm. if you're going to get a tattoo, mm -hmm. if you're going to have body piercing, mm -hmm. just get it done by a reputable, mm -hmm. licensed person mm -hmm. and make sure that they are using clean, sterile, mm -hmm. and new uh, needles. Mm -hmm. and, and you'll be okay. It's that a lot of times people go to the neighborhood person mm -hmm. to get that tattoo tattoo sean tattoo wayne tattoo mm -hmm. whoever all right mm -hmm. tattoo james haney mm -hmm. you, you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. and those type things also have a risk for transmitting mm -hmm. hiv mm -hmm. sharing needles mm -hmm. and so that's the real that's the real problem yeah think. well <clears throat> we're not seeing a lot of that, a lot of people be becoming infected that way, but we want people to know that that is a potential mm -hmm. risk. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's where that, that mm -hmm. goes. Well, now, <clears throat> over the next three minutes uh, that we have here, Ms. Crowder, wh what about the uh, research and the attempts to, uh, have we simply given up on trying to find some kind of uh, uh, Vaccine, vaccine, or whatever. Yeah, well, is that well, the, just <coughs> let, let me let me tell you where we are with that. Number one, the United States is still, as we speak, over the last ten to twelve years, mm -hmm. there have been somewhere around forty to fifty thousand new HIV infections mm -hmm. in the United States every year. Mm -hmm. One reason that is is because the United States does not have a national HIV prevention strategy. Mm. We require that of every other country that we give money to, mm -hmm. you know, f for the National mm -hmm. AIDS Fund uh, or if we give other countries like Africa mm -hmm. or anybody uh, fund their aid, we require a that they have that. A, mm. a national mm -hmm. HIV prevention strategy, mm -hmm. but we don't have one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't we have one, Ms. Crowder? That's a question for mm -hmm. CDC. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and again, we are advocating as we speak mm -hmm. for that. We are advocating as we speak. I am a part of a national advocacy group mm -hmm. called Campaign NA. Mm -hmm. We make sure that it's on all of the presidential candidates' uh, platform. Mm -hmm. we, we go, I was uh, in... Uh, 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 what was the last debate? Uh, was mm. it South Carolina? No, it wasn't South Carolina. Uh, uh, Pennsylvania? No, the one before that. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, so, but the next, the next one mm -hmm. is in, uh, uh, Oxford, Mississippi. Okay. So yeah. we'll be we'll be uh, a caravan. We we travel from all over the mm -hmm. country. Caravans mm -hmm. of us mm -hmm. go down to these debates mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that to make is sure there. that HIV prevention and and and, and uh, AIDS is on the presidential. Mm -hmm. Agenda. Uh -huh. and, and agenda. Okay, uh-huh. So, so we do that. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a national uh, advocacy group. Uh, and, and again, there's, we, we have advocates from all over the country mm -hmm. that will convene. But you the, just, uh, over the last minute, but you just don't have a national plan. And it would be the up United to the, States, uh, for the United States. And, and, and it would be up to the CDC to uh, develop such a plan, and nobody's Absolutely. doing anything in that direction in reference uh, to a plan. Absolutely. Is, is that what we're saying? Yes, and exactly. That we cannot what we're fight this disease without some kind of national plan coming out of some kind of nationally recognized medical organization such as the CDC. And Absolutely. you would suggest that uh, perhaps 
all uh, presidential candidates and all individuals who are concerned with this disease ought to think in terms of having this national plan. Absolutely. Not, not just uh, the president, every mm -hmm. human being mm -hmm. should think about this whole thing. Very good. And of course, uh, Ms. Crowell, let me thank you again for bringing by that uh, excellent information uh, in reference to this disease. And let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Commons. Thank you and good night.